Hey everybody, it's Kayla with Glitter Chip coming to you today from my craft room to do an awesome tutorial today using vinyl, some glitter, and a tumbler. And we are using this beautiful vinyl. And I'm so excited because I have, when I have created this vinyl print, um, I had something in mind. And I wanted to make a Troop Beverly Hills tumbler. For those of you who are probably a little bit younger than me, not a little bit, a lot younger than me, you won't know what that movie is, but I highly recommend it. It's a great movie about Beverly Hills and girls getting into their version of Girl Scouts. Um, anyways, so I want to make this cup using this vinyl. I've got some glitter to go along with the vinyl. I have a tumbler here already painted, prepped, ready to go. So what we're gonna be doing is a stripe tumbler. The back half of the cup is going to be the vinyl. And then we're going to do um, the stripes here, kind of like we did on the cactus tumbler. Um, I mean, the same exact like pattern going across the tumbler. Um, and then we're gonna put, of course, a big decal on the top that says Troop Beverly Hills, which I've already made and got ready. So what we're gonna do though is a little different. Normally I go ahead and cut this stuff. I have to take my rings off, my hands are cold. My rings are falling off. Okay, normally I will have cut this on my Cricut that I have behind me. However, um, I'm gonna do this different today. I'm actually gonna do this kind of how I used to do it before I had a cutter. So we're going to be doing a tutorial on if you don't have a vinyl cutter, what you need to do to make, to cut your vinyl. Um, and I mean, it seems, it seems pretty basic, but uh, you know, so for some people who are just starting out, this is a great way to learn how to do it. So I have my paper cutter here, just a little slidey one. If you don't have one of those, you can always just use a pair of scissors. Um, I do recommend having a ruler though, so you do have a straight edge. Um, but what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you guys the glitter too we're using. So I have, this is going on the back of the tumbler. Um, I needed to go with like a khaki color gold. So I've got fool's gold. We got some OD green for their uniforms. I got a nice pop of pink with guava. And then the top part of the tumbler is going to be in freshwater pearl course. So let's jump on into this. Um, what we're gonna do first is measure the tumbler. And I've got my cup here. Um, this is a cup, if you keep seeing these random stripes pop like on the side, uh, this is a cup that I had painted before and I never used what I was gonna use it for. So I just repainted it. So we're gonna measure the cup. So this is a hog skinny tumbler. So it should measure, oh my gosh. I'm gonna try not because too much noise here. It should measure right about, yep, nine and a quarter around. Uh, so nine and a quarter, meaning we're gonna go half these, which is right here to here. All right, so because of, like I told you guys, I've already used this cup for something. So I already have lines here. So we're gonna go about nine and a quarter is, what is that? Four and three fourths. So 4.75 inches across the back and that's where the vinyl's gonna go. And so I'm gonna measure this way, which should be eight and like a 10. All right, so I need to, hold on. I'm like out of practice because again, this, I haven't done a cup this way in a long time. So we've got nine, I don't need that answer. Um, 4.75 around the back here. And then the length itself is eight point, what is that? I should know this number guys. That's eight and y'all, what is that? 20, let's see, that's 25, so like a 10th. It's like really like a 13th. We'll just write that down. Okay, so there's my number. Got that measured. So what I'm gonna do is take my vinyl, which I have right here, and I have a little pin here, and I'm gonna flip this over, and that's because I don't want to, if I mismeasure, I don't wanna have like ruined vinyl, so flip it over. This is the top, top right there. All right. So that's my top. And what I'm going to do is when I cut this, 
I'm starting at this, all the way over here at this far edge because it's gonna line up with the cutter. So we're gonna remember in reverse. Stay over there. All right, so that is gonna go all right to, this is again, this is just like a quick way to do this. I don't have a ruler in here, which is awesome. So we're gonna go old school, guys. I'm gonna eyeball it. And this is gonna drive me insane, but that's okay. Four and three quarters. And I'm just gonna put a couple little lines here and that's just so that I can line up the lines on the, when I cut it. Okay. Now, so I've got here, here, here. Yep, okay. So now, oh, just gonna take this. Where does it cut on the end here? <laughs> now remember, I don't like this cutter. All right, so I have my strip right there. I have my scrap piece, I'm gonna set behind me because I don't need it now. So you see, this is going to wrap right here around the back of the cup, like this. Obviously it's too long, so now we have to measure it the other way. Top is here. I'm gonna trim this. I have an edge on here, so I'm gonna just trim this off real quick. All right, so I have my edge top piece here, doing the same thing. Eight, and that line. Helpful if I have my pen still open. So it's gonna be the second little tick mark there. That was fun. All right, so now I'm gonna cut this. All right, so now I have my scrap piece here, put it behind me, because I don't need it, and now I'm done with my vinyl, with the cutter. So now I'm gonna just make sure that this does fit. And it does, yay. Okay, so that's gotta be, this is so much fun, y'all. I'm really excited, I'm so excited about this cup. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the piece of vinyl here and lay it on the back of the cup. I'm gonna move some stuff out of my way. All right, so let me get this cleaned up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna take this now. I'm just gonna peel back part of the vinyl here. Made a mess. And I don't use transfer tape. You can if you want. I just don't like to. Come on. Seriously, okay. So I'm just gonna peel back my transfer tape not transfer tape, the backing of the vinyl. And again, this is just how I do it. You can do it however you feel comfortable. Now, since I actually, I happen to have a line here, I'm going to just line this up with the top of my gut. And this line, I kind of need to turn this. So we're gonna turn it sideways. All 
All right, so now I have that laid. You can do this two ways. One is to just roll it around the cup. I'm gonna do it this way, because I'm right-handed. And I just take my hand and slide it back and forth. All right. is underneath there. There is a piece of glitter that's stuck underneath. So I'm gonna just pick this out. All right, so now I have that on the back of the tumbler. Nice straight edges, which is awesome. So the back is now finished. If you wanted to put something else on there, you can. I am not going to. Now I'm just gonna focus on this half of the tumbler. Trash. So we're going to do this one similar, the same design as this. So it's going to, you've got your vinyl on the back and then now we're going to do the stripes on the front. So we're going to do five stripes here and then the bulk, the bulk, the block here. All right. So now that the vinyl is laid flat, um, we're going to go ahead and tape this off so we can do the striping here. So what I'm going to do first is tape the edges of the vinyl to basically protect them so that we don't get any Mod Podge glue and stuff on them. Sorry. So I'm going to just line this tape up as best I can to my vinyl. All right, so I've done that and that. And now, of course, you see I've left these strips here because I'm going to go around here and put tape on the bottom edge here and then trim that tape off with the X-Acto knife. And that's because I'm going to be glittering the bottom of the cup as well. So I put this up to this corner here. Well, it's not really a corner, but the corner of the tumbler. Now you can leave this vinyl here. I'm gonna cut it so that it's not hanging over the edge anymore. Okay. So I have now, this is all protected. It's not gonna get any glitter on it or Mod Podge. So I've got my nice straight lines. So now the fun part of the striping. And so I'm using, this is three quarter inch tape um, I bought on Amazon. It's just easier than me having to measure out strips of vinyl, which is why I like it. And we're gonna be doing five stripes of color and then a big block section um, up at the top. And that's where the decal will go. one thing at a time. So we're gonna do this first, striping.
Okay, you guys, so we have the tumbler done. It is super pretty and these colors are gonna look so great because we are doing this really cute Troop Beverly Hills tumbler. And again, like I said, for those of you who are younger than me, you may not know what this movie is, but it's a great movie, highly recommend. Um, so what we're doing today is using, this is a um, actually our new rose gold um, chrome, mirror chrome vinyl. And I thought this would be perfect because it goes along with the pinks that are in here. And just to give it a little bit more pink, because I don't think it has enough pink on the front. So we're going with rose gold in chrome. We've got our Bev Troop Beverly Hills decal. So we're gonna first do the vinyl and then go and put the decal on the top. So just like always, we're gonna start with our stripes here. So I just need one little stripe here. They're really sticky. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and place my first piece. Oh, help if I can make you stay. There we go. All right, so now we're just gonna roll this around and I'm gonna do this at a sped up video part because I'm OCD and this takes me a few minutes to do. So we're gonna speed this video up for y'all so you don't have to sit here and watch this for 10 minutes. So now that I've done that, I am going to add my Troop Beverly Hills decal. So like I do in every video, I just peel it back just a little bit. And then I fold this over. So this is our decals on clear. So it's got the whole sheet of vinyl right there. I'm gonna line this up so it's centered. Goodness. Let me see here. Centered. There we go. Not straight, straight. All right, so now I'm just gonna pull the bottom out and roll this down around the tumbler. And there we go. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Okay, so we have our now Troop Beverly Hills Tumblr. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, so this is gonna be available online on already. We actually also have the cut file for this in case you just wanna do cut your own vinyl and choose your own colors. Um, but this is it. This is so stinking adorable. Best choice ever. Okay. So this is now finished. Um, all I have to do now is put a coat of epoxy on it and we will be all done and set. So what I'm gonna do now is turn the camera off, put the epoxy on the cup, and you all will get to see the final product when it's all nice and finished. But that's it, you guys. I mean, that is so stinking adorable. Keely's gonna steal this from me. I already know, because she loves that movie. But that's it. So it's really cute, because then you can see this glitter come through on the clear vinyl. But that new rose gold chrome is beautiful. I will be using that a lot more for sure. But that's all I've got for you guys. So I will show you guys a picture of what this looks like all finished when it's all said and done. This thing turned out so great. I'm so happy with it. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up with a like if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to request anything, make sure you say something in the comments below and we will see what we can get done for you guys. Otherwise, you guys have a great rest of your day and we will see you guys again very soon. Bye, everybody.